Welcome to the Astronomy Club meeting. Looks like we have a couple new faces. Maybe to just want to introduce yourselves. Cool. Mm -hmm. I like that. Cool. Uh, glad to have you here. Um, so, Astronomy Club meeting. Uh, so yesterday, uh, just to recap some things that happened this weekend, we went to Biosphere 2 as part of their Science Saturdays event. Like to sh they like to show the public all kinds of cool science stuff. Um, and we had a couple things we did. We had solar observing. Uh, we had, if you've seen our planet, our local stars model, we had that out there. And we also had this model showing uh, some stars sizes compared to our sun and the cool thing is if you have this giant sphere as VY Canis Majoris that's the largest the star with the largest radius that we know of uh, then we had a full range of stars like this was Betelgeuse and we had a one millimeter sprinkle that was our sun <laughs> That was kind of cool to show off, and we had a lot of people who were interested, and people who got donations, that was nice. And thanks to everybody who came, Katie, uh, and Triana, and Kevin. Yeah. Um, then later that night, we went to, we had our monthly Sabino Canyon star party, and um, we just went to Spino Canyon and did all kinds of cool observing. You can see it. Yes. From Jake's camera. And so it was cool. And a cool thing was there were people who came just to see our star party instead of previously. It's mostly been just people who were at Sabino Canyon and happened to see our telescope. But this time we had people who were, who were thinking okay, this astronomy club does a star party every month. Gotta go to this. So that was nice. Got, yeah. And so, um, and so this, I think that's supposed to say Friday. You can, yeah. It's supposed to say Friday. Uh, you can check on the website for more information, but uh, the we're uh, hosting a star party for University High School. That's, that's one of the things we do. And people asked where Kevin was. He's uh, at the at the University High School, helping put together their telescopes because they got some telescopes and they want some knowledgeable person to put them together. And do you know if anybody else is there? It was Kevin, Benjamin, Kyle, and Carmen. Okay. They, so that they will actually have telescopes to um, view, use this by. Um, so just some projects that we have going on. Uh, extra solar planet project. Uh, this is a picture I put up there. It is of the Kepler-11 system, which is a six like six planets orbiting the sun, and so that's kind of similar stuff to, and if you're interested in that, you could work on the Extrasolar Planet Project, talk to Jake, we meet Thursdays at 6.30 p.m. in the computer room downstairs. Uh, then also we have the Binocular Telescope Project, which hopefully will get moving after trouble with mirrors, so that's going to really start moving along this semester and talk to Blythe, um, who hopefully was originally scheduled to do a talk now, but uh, at this meeting, but he's not here right now, so we'll see. Um, and then also, if you really like the cool star comparison things, you can meet uh, 3 p.m. on Fridays in the Astronomy Club office, and where we kind of develop those materials that we take to Biosphere and to high schools and stuff. Or you can talk to me. And you can just talk to Katie. <laughs> um, so 
if you're interested, the Astronomy Club office is right here, and we are, I think, right here. So if you just go out and see the trailer. Actually, I think it's wrong. I think it's the trailer, not the... Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So it's supposed to be there. On the gray. <laughs> And uh, on the door to that office, I have the schedule for this week. And so if you're ever curious, the schedule is also on the website. And so if you're ever curious of things that are going on, if you don't miss a meeting or if you miss a meeting or something, you can check those uh, places to kind of get an idea of what's going on. Um, last week, we had a few people uh, that came to Don McCarthy's astronomy question of the week, which is something he holds for Astronomy Club, just kind of to help you think about cool things and, and engage your cognitive skills and interesting questions. And it's Fridays at 4 p.m. And this week, um, we don't have, he hasn't given us the, all the questions yet, but I know there's going to be one about something I saw on the internet in the XKCV forums where he's talking about if you want to be really romantic then you could go to the ocean and see a sunrise and then get a forklift and forklift yourself up and see the sunrise again. Sunset. Or sunset, yeah. And so the question would be something like how powerful does the forklift have to be so you can actually do that? And just kind of cool questions like that. Um, so, there are, what I'm going to try and do this semester is have a talk at every astronomy club meeting, uh, so you can all learn about cool stuff going on in astronomy right now, and uh, if you're doing, how many people here are doing research with a professor right now? Excellent. So if that's like a lot of you have given talks previously, but if you ever want to give a new talk about <laughs> or if you want to give your old talk, but get a new audience, but um, yeah, yeah, I'm sure I'm sure something has happened in your research since you talked last. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, if you're interested in giving a talk, that would be great to have you. Uh, and so talk to me after meeting. And I'll also try and get professors to talk during meetings. We don't have school students. Um, uh, so membership, if you have not filled out a membership form, uh, just go to, the, go to that website there and just fill it out with basic questions like your name and major and year and stuff. Um, dues are ten dollars a semester and that just kind of helps support all the cool projects we have going on uh, and we take a few trips, a couple trips every semester just to, and that helps support that. <laughs> and so so we, we actually do stuff, we're not a tautology club. And uh, that pretty much covers it. It's well, it's the it's the one before Valentine's Day, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm sure I'm sure I can find another nebula. Yes. <laughs>